What's up? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Sorry, uh, cat's got my tongue there. What's up, everybody? This is Never Dragon, and I'm here to show you a little trick that's been in the back of my head for years, and uh, I finally found a song uh, in my new album that I'd like to use it in. And I, I tried talking to my friend about this when I first came up with the idea, and he said, like, no, it's, it's not right. I think it is right, and I'm going to tell you what it is. Okay, so I've got this little bass line here. Okay, and I've got a little synth that goes with it. Okay, I want to add layers onto that top end synth. So what I'm going to do is uh, duplicate that and delete the massive and throw a simpler on there. Change it to one shot. Um, okay. Got an uh, I'm going to need two audio files for this. Uh, the second audio is going to record um, the first one. Okay, so go into my sample packs, and I'm going to find a sound. I'll use that sound. Okay. So I'm going to throw it onto the audio. And then, okay, so that's an A, right? So I'm going to go into my piano roll and be like, where's the A? So A, we want to get a C note. What I'm going to do is repitch the A to a C so I can use it in the simpler on the piano roll. If that makes sense. So what I'm uh, what I'm gonna do is here's my uh, let's see. So I'm gonna make a new MIDI track for this. Okay, so A is here to get to get from A to C. It's one, two, three semitones. Okay. I'm going to grab my A and pitch it up. One, two, three semitones. So that is now a C. It sounds like this. This is the A. Pitch it up three semitones. Now we got a C. Okay, so my second track is recording that track. Okay, we've got a little sample here. Mute that, mute that. Uh, and then I'm gonna take my recorded sample. Now you might be able to get away with this by just repitching it and dropping it into the simpler, but just to play it safe, I'm going to repitch it. Uh, now, one thing that I noticed uh, when I made the first take of this video is, uh, Notice on the at the bottom here where it shows a sample. Notice how when it it's got release on it. So when the sample's done over here, there's a over here there's a little area where it's not playing. On the first take, it was playing the tail end of the sample there. Now, down here, you'll see while it's playing 16th notes, it just plays part of the sample, and then when it gets to the end, it plays the whole things like this. Did you notice that? So what I'm going to do is cut the sample short so it only plays what it's playing. Uh, I might... I might want to transpose that up. I don't know. Let's hear what it sounds like transposed up. Yeah, I kind of like that. 
Uh, actually, you know what I like? Well, what did it sound like deeper? That's that's kind of the sound I'm going for, actually. So, all right, so let's play it with the bass. And then we'll play it with the other synths. All right. So I'm going to say that that's going into the album. I might clean it up a little bit with some EQ and mess around with the uh, the length of the sample and stuff like that. I might transpose it a little bit. Might even pick a new sample to throw in there. But uh, for the most part, that's it. Yeah, I hope this helped you. Uh, yeah, just so just to refresh what we did here. Uh, the original sample sounded like this. I pitched it up. It was that's an A, so I pitched it up three semitones to be a C. Recorded it, and then uh, threw it into the simpler. Uh, you can do that with you know any note. You can do that with. A G, a C sharp, you can do it with a B flat, you know, anything you want. Uh, just uh, what I did was I looked at, I made a new piano roll. And so I saw that A, and count one, two, three semitones up to C. So if you're doing a, let's say you had a C sharp, one semitone down, pitch it down one semitone to get a C. Simple as that. Hope this helped. Uh, that's going on the album. The album is, this is the eighth track that I'm working on. I've got uh, a friend working on, a close friend, working on a remix of one of the tracks. Uh, so yeah, it looks like the album's going to be eight original tracks, one remix. And I might come up with some kind of little introduction thing. If I feel like it, or if I get inspired. Yeah. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you later.